it's, it's very hard on his sisters. Like, like every little video, every little smell, we smell, they smell like him. Like, we just, we just breaking down. It was never them without him and him without them. Like, he was a mama boy. He was a big mama boy. In the blink of an eye, a promising future was cut short and the Memphis community found itself facing an overwhelming tragedy. What began as a typical Sunday afternoon on October 13th, 2024, turned into a nightmare that no parent should ever endure. 16-year-old Antonio Faison Jr. lost his life in Cordova, Tennessee, in what has left his family and friends searching for answers as they try their best to navigate the grief. Antonio had celebrated his 16th birthday the month prior and was in his junior year at Germantown High School. Known for his outgoing and energetic personality, he was looking forward to the road ahead of him. He had plans to graduate, join the military, and build a life that would make his family proud. That weekend, Antonio had asked his mother, Courtney McMullen, if he could stay at a friend's house. Since the families knew each other well, Courtney agreed, confident that her son would be safe. The following day, as she was preparing for church, the mother checked in with her son, asking if he wanted her to pick him up before or after the service. Antonio decided to stay with his friends a little longer and requested that she come afterward. It was a normal exchange between mother and son, one that gave no hint of the heartbreak that was soon to come. At approximately 2.40 p.m., deputies from Shelby County responded to reports of a discharge incident on Mill Hill Avenue in Cordova. When they arrived, they found Antonio lying in an alley critically wounded by a discharge. Emergency personnel rushed him to Regional One Hospital, where despite their best efforts, sadly, Faison Jr. was later pronounced gone. Here on Mill Hill Avenue, two homes are left with bullet holes here and here after a deadly shooting on Sunday. This house has been decorated with a welcome sign and a pumpkin, but bulls and crime scene tape now overshadow the decorations. So we didn't really know what was going on. This neighbor does not feel comfortable showing her face, but tells us she was returning home when she saw several sheriff's deputies in her neighborhood. The neighborhood was completely blocked off. We couldn't get back to the alley. We couldn't get to the front of the house. This is what neighbors saw several first responders on Mill Hill Avenue in Cordova. It was very shocking. Uh, normally, this is a very quiet neighborhood, so we were very, very shocked when we came home saw everything blocked off. Just never had an issue like this before. This neighbor tells us she has lived in this community for 15 years and could not believe her eyes. It's tragic. You know, it's devastating. You know, the family, you know, just must be devastated as well. It's just, it's heartbreaking. WREG Try speaking to the families that live in the homes hit by blitz. Understandably, they declined to speak. For McMullen, as expected, the news was devastating. She had been just 10 minutes away when the incident occurred. Reflecting on that day, she expressed her regret for not being there in her son's final moments, wishing she could have been by his side to comfort him and tell him she loved him one last time. As if the tragedy of losing her son wasn't enough, McMullen soon learned that the suspect in his passing was one of Antonio's closest friends. The two boys had been so close that Antonio had even referred to the boy as his brother. 
This deepens the heartache as Courtney struggles to understand how someone her son trusted could have betrayed him in such a way. She often cautioned Antonio about trusting others too easily, reminding him that not everyone he called a friend had his best interests at heart. The betrayal has left McMullen in disbelief, and she now questions how something like this could happen. Antonio had been a kind-hearted boy with a bright future ahead of him, and according to his family, the teen wasn't involved in criminal activity. He was simply spending time with a friend doing what teenagers do. But now, his life was taken far too soon. It's, it's very hard on his sister's like. Like every little video, every little smell, we smell. They smell like him. Like we just, we just breaking down. Like a, a lot of people been reaching out to us. We just breaking down just off the mention of him because it was never them without him and him without them. Like he was a mom boy. He was a big mom. In the immediate aftermath of the incident, police acted swiftly, charging the unnamed 16-year-old suspect with first-degree fatality attempted fatality, possession of a firearm during a dangerous felony, tampering with evidence and evading arrest. The investigation is ongoing and authorities have not yet released the details of what led to such a terrible end, at least not as of this video. For McMullen and the Cordova community, their grief remains raw. Friends, neighbors, and family members have rallied around, offering support during this devastating time. McMullen set up a GoFundMe campaign to help cover the expenses of laying her son to rest. The link is in the bio of this video if you wish to donate. May the family and friends of Antonio Faison Jr. find solace in the happy memories and may his soul rest in perpetual peace. Thank you.